Hello and welcome to Interview, a production of the Government Information Service. I am Geraldine Bissett Joseph. The Programme for the Regulation of Unplanned Developments, PROUD, was set up with the aim of rationalizing land occupation in existing squatter settlements and to transfer land titles to the established occupants. Now, the Proud, the Proud is a program that always has something going on. And because of this, we are joined today by Mrs. Tara leonard Emanuel, who is the Social Planning Officer at Proud. Thank you for joining us today. You're welcome. Now, you're here today to tell us a little bit about the activities that are currently taking place within the program. So can you tell us, first of all, before we even get into that, can you give us a breakdown? I, I gave a, a brief um, description of what Proud actually is. But in your own words, what would you say that the, the Proud does and, and what are the activities that can be found as part of the Proud's mandate? So basically, you said it, Geraldine, um, the Proud was set up to be able to assist persons who had been living on Crown land mm -hmm. um, in specific areas where the Proud was asked to rationalize, basically to give them title to where they were actually living. Okay. So anybody who was living on Crown land mm -hmm. um, in a Proud area would, have, would be able to obtain title for wherever they, they actually live, where they occupy. Okay, brilliant. Now, as I was saying, as in the opening as well, Proud is an ongoing program, and St. Lucia is vast in the, in, the, in the fact that there are many settlements throughout St. Lucia that the Proud has to deal with. Yes. What settlements are you actually dealing with at the moment? Okay, so right now we have some old Proud sites, mm -hmm. and then we have some new Proud sites coming okay. on. So what we would call the old Proud sites, mm -hmm. and they're not old, we're okay. still in there, but mm -hmm. what we'd call the old Proud sites, um, we have Tebara, mm -hmm. we have Peipedi, which is in Gara, mm -hmm. we have Bexor and its environs, which mm -hmm. is Bexor, we have Sandy mm -hmm. we have Chope, we have Ravenpaso, mm -hmm. Lavi, mm -hmm. and Sarat. Okay. And we have Viewfort, Larishus, P.I., mm -hmm. and we also have Lacqua Labri. So these would be considered the older proud sites. Okay. Newer, coming on stream, mm -hmm. we have six new sites. We have Opico, mm -hmm. Contonment, Pom Oje, mm -hmm. we have Rockall, Bruceville, mm -hmm. and Olio. Okay, all right. Now, I guess because you have, as you were saying, all the sites and you have new sites, there are different levels, I guess, of, of whatever the program goes in and does. Yes. So can you tell us what level are the older ones at the moment? Most of the older sites are completed. We have okay. some um, upgrading work to do in some of the sites, like, mm -hmm. say, for example, in Larry Shoes and in the Bexon environs, mm -hmm. but most of the other sites are fully completed. Lacqua Library is the only site we have not fully put in the infrastructure mm -hmm. and we are planning to do so soon. Okay, all right. And how have things been going in there in regards to, because I know that you have you have to have community meetings, site visits and such like. Yes. In regards to dealing with the community and actually getting um, the transfers happening, how have things been going in the older sites? It's been going fairly well. I mean, there are some times where we have some issues. Mm -hmm. um, to be able to obtain title, you must pay off so that you can get your title, to your deed. And some areas we still have m a few persons, mm -hmm. I would not say 50%, I'd probably say less than 50% in the area, mm -hmm. still missing to, um, to, to probably complete their payment so mm -hmm. that we can facilitate giving them the title. And we do that ourselves through the AG's chambers. Okay. So they don't have to pay for um, to get these documents. Mm -hmm. We do that ourselves okay. and they get it through the mm -hmm. AG's office. Mm -hmm. Um, so maybe about yeah about 30 30 40 percent of some of the sites mm -hmm. but most of the sites are completed okay all right and most how the, the how was community um, reaction at that time were people actually coming out to the meetings because I know that for instance there was always um, calls to actions for people to actually come in and and come to the meetings and such like did you have a large turnout at the meetings? sometimes the meetings are not as widely attended or as as greatly attended as we would like. Mm -hmm. um, we still believe that there is always room for improvement. More persons can come. Mm -hmm. However, I would use last week as an example. We had a meeting in La Bahie. Mm -hmm. In spite of the heavy rains on Thursday, mm -hmm. and in spite of the fact that the electricity was fluctuating, coming and going, mm -hmm. we basically had a good turnout at okay, the meeting. So good. persons did come out. Um, we see them coming out, especially when they, have a, when they figure they have a stake in it. So say, mm -hmm. for example, if things are still uncompleted in the area, you see, more persons coming up because mm -hmm. they want to know what is going to happen, mm -hmm. how are they going to have improvements in their community. Mm -hmm. But apart from that, 
yeah, the turnout is normally good. Okay, that's good. Okay, now let's go on, move on to the, the, the new um, sites. The sites. What, what is actually happening within the new sites right now? Okay, so for the new sites, right now we are currently still awaiting approval so that we can have our drawings mm -hmm. approved for the area mm -hmm. of how we see the site should look. Mm -hmm. Obviously, um, the DCA, mm -hmm. we have Wasco Electricity, all of these agencies have to come in, mm -hmm. check the drawings to make sure that we have facilitated everything including ambulance access all of these things mm -hmm. and as soon as these are approved then we are ready to go okay and how is community you said that i think one of the, the meetings was well attended but how are, how has um, response been within the communities within the new sites i think the new sites the persons there are really eager okay to be able to have their sites as one of the proud sites mm -hmm. and that we can start working with them mm -hmm. a lot of people call they come into the office they mm -hmm. tell us how long they've been living on the land, how long they've been wanting to own the land. Mm -hmm. I believe in the new sites will have pretty good turnout. When it comes to the meetings that we've had, mm -hmm. we've had some pretty good turnouts. People mm -hmm. come, people ask. They want to see how the new site will look. Okay. They want to show us where their house is situated <laughs> in the new site. Okay. So yes, I think persons are very eager and okay. they're interested in proud coming and doing what we know how to do. Okay, brilliant. Now we're going to go to a commercial break in a minute, but before we go, I just wanted you to um, give a little call out to the people in the new cycle. Where are you going to be presently, uh, right now, uh, around this time, in the near future? Where are the new places you know you're going to have community meetings and such like? So the next few community meetings would be in Bexall. Mm -hmm. We have a community meeting scheduled for Sarat. We have community meetings scheduled for Sandy Face. So all of Bexall and its environs mm -hmm. will be coming to you next. Okay, brilliant. Now, as I said, we're just going to go to a break, and when we get back, we'll talk some more about proud in these communities. No problem. We will be right back. The world's climate is changing, and that affects all of us. Storms are becoming increasingly intense. Periods of intense drought and heavy rain stress farm animals and destroy our crops. Higher average ocean temperatures kill our coral reefs and change the migratory patterns of fish. St. Lucia contributes only 0.0015% of global greenhouse gas emissions, but is doing its part, along with countries around the world, to reduce the emissions that are warming our world and changing our climate. These efforts are called mitigation. But decades of emissions have already changed the climate, and the greenhouse gases in the atmosphere today will increase average global temperatures even more. We need to adapt, that is, do everything we can to prepare for and respond to the actual and expected negative effects of climate change. And everyone has a role to play. We need to protect our crops, build homes that withstand storms, and keep our drains and waterways free of garbage to help us recover or bounce back from climatic events. Learn more about the Government of St. Lucia's National Adaptation Plan and the steps you can take to protect yourself and your fellow St. Lucians. Welcome back to Interview, a production of the Government Information Service. I am Johnny Bissett Joseph. Now today I'm joined by Tara Emanuel, Leonard Emanuel, sorry, yes. from Proud, who's telling us a little bit about what is going on in the communities in St. Lucia presently. Now Tara, before we went to break, we were talking about the communities you're, that Proud are in right now. Mm -hmm. um, tell us a little bit about the stakeholders and such like, because one thing I've noticed with Proud, you work with a lot of different agencies to not only um, make sure that, that your domain is filled, but also to do extra, whereas you're kind of like uplifting the community. Tell us a little bit about the stakeholders you work with and the kind of things that the Proud helps bring about in those communities through these agencies. So the Proud has a social stakeholders um, meeting mm -hmm. once a month. Mm -hmm. And those social stakeholders are different agencies that work with persons in the community. Right. And we decided that it would make sense if we could all come together to be able to uplift, like you said, mm -hmm and help the community to grow. Mm -hmm. So some of these stakeholders would be, say for example, we have DCA, we have Solid Waste, we mm -hmm. have GIS mm -hmm. and NTN. We also have um, NSDC, we have Human Services, Social, um, social Transformation. Mm -hmm. We have a number of social, I think we probably have about 16 or 17 persons on that committee. Mm -hmm. Those persons actually assist in just making the community a better place. Right. So what we do, say for example, if when we go out and we do our walkthroughs mm -hmm. and our community meetings, we mm -hmm. ask these stakeholders to come to the meetings so that they can speak and 
inform persons of those little things to make the community better. So right. say for example, Bureau of Health Education would probably come in. Mm -hmm. They would probably speak to the residents about um, mosquitoes, mm -hmm. about dengue, mm -hmm. about how to store water, mm -hmm. how to ensure that they keep their surroundings clean mm -hmm. so that they can avoid, say for example, mosquitoes, rodents, and mm -hmm. all of these things. Mm -hmm. NSDC would probably come and tell persons about all the new skills programs so that persons who are unskilled in the, in the area, in mm -hmm. the community, can actually attend the class mm -hmm. and get skilled and get, um, say for example, even placed at a, 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 pla a, a place of work so, yeah. where they can probably, say for example, if they're unemployed, mm -hmm. actually gain employment. Okay. So we have a number of stakeholders, human mm -hmm. services, they mm -hmm. come in to help with children. Mm -hmm. We have SSDF who mm -hmm. will assist with housing needs and mm -hmm. all of these things. So mm -hmm. we have a number of stakeholders and they're doing a marvelous job. Okay. Now I've actually been privileged enough to actually go on some of the site visits with Proud and the different agencies. And something I've noticed is like, for instance, you mentioned solid waste. When they go in, they actually see how things are being um, done in the area. So what happens is these agencies will go back and actually help make sure that things are maintained in a, in a proper manner? Yes. So say, for example, like you mentioned, solid waste. Mm -hmm. If there's an issue with garbage um, disposal, mm -hmm. solid waste will actually work on that with whomever has the contract for the community mm -hmm. and ensure that the garbage is taken up on the days that it's supposed to be taken up. Right. If there's an issue with maybe a, a truck at the time, they mm -hmm. would send another truck mm -hmm. so that they would be able to assist in removing the garbage, whether it be... Um, bulky waste mm -hmm. or just normal garbage, mm -hmm. um, say for example, yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Now Tara, I can sit and talk to you all day, but I know time is, is of the essence with us today. But before we go, I really want you to actually say a few words. So what would you say to, to people who are on Crown lands, for example, and they know proud of coming into the community? Because a lot of times, I remember I even talked to um, somebody who is actually uh, has worked with Proud, who mm -hmm. when she first found out about Proud, she said that she thought you guys were just coming in to get the land. Mm -hmm. So what would you say to people? Because obviously from our conversations, it's more about uplifting the community, making sure people have something of their own. So what would you say to people in regards to who are a bit fearful of what Proud's mandate actually is? I would say the most, the most important thing is that you gain title. Okay. Proud will come in. There's nothing to be fearful about. Mm -hmm. We will assist. We will try our best to make things as best as possible. We may not always do it how they probably would like it to be done, mm -hmm. but we do what we know is fair and just. Right. So we will come in. We, it may seem that we're coming for the land, but mm -hmm. we're not. We're okay. actually coming so that we can assist mm -hmm. them mm -hmm. in obtaining title for the land on which they occupy. Right. My, my thing would be, um, if I had to say something, is don't be afraid. Okay. Work with us so that we would be able to assist you. And I always tell the clients at the meetings, um, as soon as you own something, especially a piece of St. Mm -hmm. you become a boss, like yeah. the children would say. <laughs> yeah. And it would mean that you have something that is yours mm -hmm. in the end. So the house that you have is worth nothing until you pay for the land. Okay. Help us to help you. Excellent. Come in. And let's get this done. Brilliant. Thank you for joining us today, Tara. It's been a wonderful discussion. Hopefully you can come back next time and talk to us more about <laughs> the different communities you're in. You're welcome. And thank you for joining us today in interview. Do stay tuned to the National Television Network. However, for now, bye-bye.